quadratic formula for quadratic equation, we are going to use quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Equation AX square plus BX plus C equals zero with ABC real numbers. A is not equal zero is quadratic. For example, three three x square plus five x minus seven equals zero. It is quadratic equation. Coefficient A equals three, coefficient B equals five. Coefficient c equals negative 7. We have two special cases of quadratic equation. If, for example, b equals 0, so we will have equation like ax square plus c equals 0. It is like 2x square plus 3 equals 0. It's quadratic equation, but we will use different um, approach than quadratic formula to solve equation like that. 2x squared plus 3, or for example, 5x squared minus 1 equals 0. And next special case, if c equals 0, c equals 0, we have equation like ax squared plus bx equals 0. So for example, 3x squared minus 5x equals 0. Or... 7x square plus x equals 0. This is the second special case of quadratic equation. We use quadratic formula to find all real solution. All real solution. Number of roots depend on value of discriminant. So discriminant is very important parameter for quadratic equation. Discriminant, we will use notation D equals, we can find discriminant using formula B square minus 4AC. We can have three cases. The first case, if discriminant greater than zero, our quadratic equation has two different solutions, then can be find by formula negative b plus minus square root of d over 2a. If, for example, discriminant equals 0, our quadratic equation has two solutions are equals each other, then can be find by formula negative b over 2a. If, for example, our discriminant negative, our quadratic equation has no solution. The first example, we have to find solution of quadratic equation 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0 using quadratic formula. Step 1, we have to write coefficient. Coefficient a equals 3, coefficient b equals 5, coefficient c equals 2. Now we have to find discriminant d. It would be b square minus 4ac. Now we use our coefficient. So it would be 5 square minus 4 times 3 times 2. It is 25 minus 24 equals 1. Now we can see discriminant positive greater than 0. So we can say our quadratic equation has two different roots that can be found using formula, with our formula x sub 1 sub 2 equals negative b plus minus square root of discriminant over 2a. b equals 5, so it would be negative 5 plus minus square root of 1 over 2 times 3. Square root of 1, it is 1, so we can write our formula like that. And now we split. For, for x sub 1, we take plus. It would be negative 5 plus 1 over 6. For x sub 2, we take minus. It would be negative 5, negative minus 1 over 6. 
be back to x sub 1, it would be negative 4 over 6. Cancel out 2, so we can see answer it is negative 2 over 3. x sub 2, it would be negative 6 over 6 equals negative 1. It's negative 1. So now we can write answer. Our quadratic equation has two real root. Negative 2 over 3 and negative 1. The second example. We will find solution for quadratic equation for x squared minus 3x minus 2. The first step we have to find coefficient. So coefficient a equals 4 coefficient b a b c so the first step b negative 3 and c equals negative 2 now we found discriminant discriminant equals we remember formula b square minus 4 a c b square it would be negative 3 square minus 4 times a times 4 it times c negative 2 so Remind your algebra rule, negative 3 square, it would be negative 3 times negative 3 equals 9. Carefully, we must use parentheses. So, it would be 9. And negative 4 times negative 2, it would be 8. 8 times 4, it would be 32. So, plus 32 equals 41. Now we can see our discriminant positive greater than 0. So quadratic equation has two different root that can be found using formula. Negative b plus minus square root of z over 2a. b negative 3. But we have minus according to our formula, so we keep minus after parenthesis negative 3 plus minus square root of 41 over 2 times 4. We can simplify. Minus negative 3 give us positive 3 plus minus square root of 41 over 8. Now we can write answer. So our quadratic equation has two root, 3 minus square root 41 over 8. And the second root, 3 plus square root of 41 over 8. Example 3. We are going to find solution quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. The first step we have to write a, b, c a equals 2, b equals negative 4, c equals negative 3. Now we can write discriminant using our formula b square minus 4ac. It would be negative 4 square minus 4 times 2 times negative 3. Negative 4 square it would be equal 16 and negative 4 times 2 it is negative 8 times negative 3 it is plus 24 equals 40 so we can see our discriminant positive so our quadratic equation has two different true roots two different roots can be found by formula x sub 1 x sub 2 equals minus negative 4 plus minus square root of 40 divided by 2 a 2 times 2 it would be 4 plus minus square root of 40 over 4 so square root of 40 we remember we can write like square root of 4 times 10 if we have square root of multiplication we can write like Square root of 4 times square root of 10. Square root of 4 is perfect root, so it would be 2 square root of 10. And back to our solution, 4 plus minus 2 square root of 10 
over 4. Now we can see, we can cancel out, but we remember, we can cancel out only factor. So the first step, our nominator has common factor 2. So it would be factor out 2, open parenthesis, 2 plus minus square root of 10 over 4. Now we can cancel out because we have multiplication. We can cancel out factor 2 and 2. So it would be 2 plus minus square root of 10 over 2. We can write answer. The first root 2 minus square root of 10 over 2 and 2 plus square root of 10 over 2. Next example, example 4. Our equation 2x squared minus 2 square root of 2x plus 1 equals 0. Quadratic equation. The first step we write ABC. A equals 2, B equals negative 2 square root of 2, C equals 1. So the first step we find discriminant B square minus 4AC. Okay. So it would be negative 2 square root of 2 square minus 4 times 2 times 1. What about 2 square root of 2? So negative 2 square root of 2 square. It would be, we can write like negative 2 square and square root 2 square. So negative 2 square give for us 4. A negative square root of 2 square give for us 2. So it would be 8. We back to our discriminant. It would be 8 minus 8 equals 0. Or oh, it is very interesting. It is the second case. Discriminant equals 0. So we remember our quadratic equation has 2 the same root. x sub 1 equals x sub 2. That can be found by formula negative b over 2a minus b negative 2 square root of 2 over 2 times a2. Simplify, we can see it would be minus minus give for us positive value. Now we can cancel out 2 and 2. It would be square root of 2 over 2. So we can write answer of example 4. It is square root of 2 over 2. Last example, example 5. x square minus x plus 3 equals 0. a, b, c. So coefficient a equals 1, coefficient b equals negative 1, coefficient c equals 3. Discriminant equals b square minus 4ac. b square it is negative 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 3. So it would be negative 1 square give for us 1 minus 12. It is negative 11. Okay, so we can see negative 11 less than 0. We remember our rule. So our quadratic equation has no solution. So no real roots of this equation. Так, and we can write answer. So answer no solution. Or we can write empty set. Thank you for watching. See you soon.